presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. The TGIF, folks, and I'm sure most of us are going to need that TGIF. <laughs> Love is responsible for its actions. Everything you think, everything you do has a consequence, and you are going to experience the consequences of your actions in one way or the other. All human beings are completely responsible for their actions, even if they don't want to be. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 686, NASDAQ's off 358, S&P's off 94, gold contract up $25.30, traded 1878 an ounce. You get silver up 16 cents, $21.98 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck, 120.59. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down a full point plus four ticks at 116.25. The 30 year off a point and a half at 135.20. And King Dollar. King Dollar's on the rule up 954 at 104, 175. Euro is at 105. Yen is at 137. The British pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Bottom line, folks, this is gonna be a cool hour because it's gonna make it or break it. And what I'm talking about here is this. So you take a look at the spy. Well, first off, the spy we have a high volume low laying out here at 380. So that wants to get tested. Now the high of that high volume low is 397. Now we've got into that to 389. So that's eight points into it. Now, normally, if you get eight points into it, the bottom line is that you're going to go after that low. We have an expansion of volume today, but the expansion of volume is not going to be higher volume than the low. So here's the bear case. The bear case, well, let's go look at the S&Ps first. I'm going to go look at the futures because that's going to be the quickest way to really get us an understanding of where the strength versus the weakness is. I just finished the workshop. We had a great workshop. Bottom line, great market for a workshop. There's no doubt about that. You're talking about moves. You're talking about swing points. You're talking about everything above. So we take a look at this S&P. What you're going to see first, I'm, I'm, what I'm going to bring you right here is the last time that we went lower with volume. And the last time we went lower with volume, you can see it's right at that point right there. And guess what we just did, folks? Okay, now showing this when the market was actually down at lows today is that the market didn't have enough strength to go lower. The bottom line is that the last time that we had come down, you know, that 71,000 contracts on the E-mini and that price projection, well, the price of that low is 39.30. So bottom line is it, you know, it bounced along the bottom you can see that you start getting a little strength and, you know, bottom line, it got up right to, it got to 39.31, okay? Now, we just came off that 39.31 and because this bar, it went over the high and under the low, it's like, it really, you, you, you don't know which way that wants to go. That, that's the really, that's the bottom line here, okay? Mainly just on this bar. So you gotta wait for the bar that we're on right now to happen. And 
So the bearish part would be that we lay at this level, or you go to lows, it doesn't have to break lows, you just stay down at lows, okay? That's your, your bearish part. Now, let me go back to the SPY. And I, my, my take is that what's going to happen here is that we're actually going to be on the bearish part, not in the bullish part. But I want to show you both, both of them because we are that close that this is like a toss-up. And I know it's going to be lighter volume, so when it's lighter volume, you always have to be cognizant that you can get a really sweet bounce, particularly on a Friday. You know, what happens on Fridays is that it can be like the disaster, but the other side of that, you can get a full rejection and you can bail out. Now, if we bail out, meaning that this thing wants to bounce again, what you're going to see is that you're going to need the SPY to close five points higher. Right now, that's going to be really tough to do, man. That's the bottom line. Right now, it, it doesn't have it. We got to take a look at the NQs. And the NQs, you know, they've been the weakest in the marketplace. They continue to be the weakest in the marketplace. And we take a look at this NQ, and what you're going to see inside the NQ, last time, now watch this. This is when you can tell the difference, too. Last time with volume on the way down, you can see on the NQ, that price was uh, 11972 Now, what happened on this bounce, the NQs couldn't make it to that level. So that's telling you that, okay, the NQs, number one, are still the weakest in the marketplace. It hasn't been able to make that bounce. Now, that bounce also, folks, and this is what's important to understand, is that, watch this, that bounce is only a .382 bounce. Let me get, I'll clean this let me clean this up for you. Because what you're going to see, when you can only do a 0 .382 bounce, it's like, okay, man, you're going nowhere, man. Yeah, 0 .382 bounces, uh, it could be a dead cat bounce in, in a second. So you can see, there it is laid out right there. So that number is uh, 11,944. You know, so this next hour, man, is going to say it all. That's the bottom line. Now, gold, look at this, man. This is pretty intense. This is about as cool as you can get. What we've had with gold, that, so picture this, folks. This is how strong gold is. First off, gold has held up, which is a total mind blower, meaning it's held up on a down market. It's held up with the dollar almost at all-time highs, okay? And then all of a sudden today, watch this. This is a classic, man. I mean, if you're trading gold inside the future market, you, know, you want to see a test with light of volume, GC, come on. And it takes off like a rocket ship. Wait to see this. This is really cool. So we come out with the CPI this morning. You get a hot CPI. Bottom line, what do you have here? You can see gold went both ways. First off, we get down to 1826. The same bar went to 1844. See the volume there? 19,000 contracts. <clears throat> we came all the way down and tested that with 6,000. And then you took off like a rocket ship. You took out the swing point. The swing point has 13,000. We took it out with 15,000. We ended up higher with 12,000. That, and then that, uh, that's on the intraday, the daily. On the, the daily chart, what you're going to have here, you're going to get an ABC structure in the way up. The B point of this is 1878. You've already hit 1879. You get two, 250,000 contracts. This baby's on this way up to the 2009. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd feasibility study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, best for you, Hewley, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Uh, bottom line, right now, we get the Dow Industrials down uh, 636. NASDAQ is off uh, 329. S&Ps are off 86. We had a question here about the, you know, uh, at this particular point, realize that you are coming down in light of volume. And do I think this is a, 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 a long-term bottom? And I'd say no. Uh, right off the bat, no. And this is why, folks, yeah. It's pretty clear that when you have, let me, I'm going to bring up Amazon to show you something. My take is that this thing is, is setting up for another leg down. I'll show you why. So we look at Amazon, right? You know, great stock, right? Bottom line, you can see what happened. Amazon came out to, back to its breakout area. That breakout area, okay, so pre-pandemic, Amazon was at 101. Well, we hit 101.26 and it wants to get tested. That's a high volume low. So you see that number there? That's pretty intense. If Amazon can get back to pre-pandemic, right? And then uh, let's put on top of it the, one of the biggest banks in the world, J.P. Morgan. Watch this. You got J.P. Morgan, okay? This has got destroyed. <laughs> this is not a pre-pandemic, it was at 141. It goes up to 172. It's at 120. That bottom line tells me that we're not even close to going where we're going to be going in this correction. You know, so you get a bounce out of here, and then what would end up happening is this. This is how this works. We put the spy up. You get a bounce coming out. You see, you're going to get a rejection of lower price. You're going to have lighter volume. And then, guess what? It would go for the highs again. You know, if that's what we're going to get out here today. You know, the bottom line is that, you know, we'll see, we'll see how that shakes out. But because of the aspect of how many other equities have made it down to that price point, let's trouble in paradise. So it's just up? Up and down. And lower, huh? Best would ask me every day. And we go, so picture, folks, we have two floors. This is the second floor. We have, we have the fifth floor. So I can back upstairs. Okay, wait, 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 the market going today, Tom. Yeah, just <laughs> and, up and down. And the thing that's amazing, so check this out. For how many weeks and how many days and how many months that are just going up? And then you're going to be asking me, is that all the market does is go up? Right? Just up and down. It's kind of weird, huh? It's, <laughs> it, it, there's no doubt. 
Well, it's not the same as real estate, that's for sure. Well, you know what the difference is? This is what the difference is. The difference is because they're cash markets every day, a mark to market, you know exactly what it is that yeah. you're dealing with. Now, the difference in real estate, okay, and you know, that's what we're going to talk about right now, is the aspect that the prices are always on discovery, yeah. right? And, and, you know, there's not one place that, you know, okay, this, I was going to say equity, this price, this house, or this store, or if it's a commercial or retail, is worth this much money. Well, we're all speculating what it's worth. You, yeah. You, you, you're looking, right, at yeah. the aspect of, you know, what is out there, what is the competition, and then you're speculating, okay, we're going to put it out at this price and see if we can get some bites. It's like the fishing pole. You throw it out, man. You know, you make sure everything's right to see whether you can get those bites. Yeah. Now let's talk to them about the bites. Well, first, let's talk to them about the MLS. Because what, what happens, folks, is this. When we're deep in the market, okay? So deep in the market it means that I like to say that we know every doorknob. Yeah. And that's a fact when I say that. And we're talking the St. Pete area, but it's still, you know, a city of 300,000, okay? Yes. So the bottom line is that, you know, when someone mentions a place, we can kind of calculate it in our head. What it's um, worth. Yeah, yeah, you know, which is pretty cool, okay? Yeah. Then, then we dig into it. So right now, you know, everyone is at a point, I say not everyone, but most of us are at a point that, hey, man, is this going up or down? What is this doing, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, it's kind of the same thing in the MLS, right? It, it's like it goes is. up and it's coming down. It is. So I think it's kind of testing, seeing where it's at, but I think it's slowly going to right. start coming down. And the reason for that is why? Well, On the just, MLS, what we've been looking at. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, we just uh, been seeing a lot more listings. Right. Yeah, so... Before, we would have about an even of what goes on a contract and what's listed. Right. Yeah. Let's explain to them. So when you look at the MLS every day, folks, we have two different MLSs because we actually go all the way up to Crystal River because we love Crystal River. Well, I happen to love Crystal River, so I always want to know what's going on up there. And then we have all of Tampa, St. Pete, um, Orlando, you know, Orlando so, so, yeah, all yeah. of that. And so when you pull this up in the morning, what you can see is you can see, number one, new listings. New listings. What sold? Yep. What went under contract? Right. Price decrease. Yeah. Price increase. Right. Back on the market. Yep. And pending. And pending. Yeah. Right. So, we see those uh, every single day. So for the past two years, you know, it's been about even as far as new listings and you know what went under contract. Right. And that's why now, there hasn't been any houses. Yeah, because everything just goes. Right. Right. Now, we're starting to see almost a double of new listings and it, what goes under contract. So, right. You know, every day changes, but some days are like double. It does, and that's and that texture, folks, has been going on really only about three or four weeks. Yeah, yeah, realistically. Yeah, yeah we never we, we didn't see this in the no, past two years. No, so and then so the what we want you to get out of this more than anything is that that you know I always talk about supply and demand, price and volume. It's the exact same thing in the real estate business. You know, I feel like I have such a edge man <laughs> in the real estate business because of the market yeah do you know what i mean because because oh, yeah. what, what ends up happening is that the i mean it might be a leg but it's a cut and dry deal man if there's more places for sale and you know there's less buyers okay bottom line is that you know prices well, are going to come down well we're, we're also seeing a lot of uh price decreases too. yes all the yeah, price big, the, the price decreases have been huge yeah no yeah. It's, it's, it's been pretty crazy right. so and then back on the market right as these prices come back on right. the market so i think there's going to be a lot more uh, available real estate out there right and what we don't know yet this is this is what we don't know we don't know as to the ownership models meaning who the actual owners are are the owners this time strong owners or are they weak owners you know yeah. i mean I don't, i'm not looking for a 2008 deal that's for sure but what we don't know is that have too many folks turned around and bought another house for you know investments and and, and, and move work from home do you know what i mean yeah. you can have plenty of you know places that you're in the city and then all of a sudden you have a place outside of the city you're in the city you're right next to your office you know whatever um, and I think one of the biggest things is the aspect of this 
Airbnbs. Airbnbs, yeah. You know, what, what we don't know there is that have a lot of people got into the marketplace over their head. And the reason they've done that is that, you know, they get Airbnbs going and they've been going pretty good. Yeah. You know? Well, and, how much longer is that going to last, though? Well, what we know is that how much is the competition inside the Airbnb market? Where are they? And will they continue to get, you know, that types of rent? Yeah. Right? Well, some of these Airbnbs, too, are, like, ridiculous. No. You can get a nice hotel room instead of... That's pretty of intense. Those, so. Stay right there, folks. Bess and I are coming right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 612. You get the NASDAQ off 313. S&Ps are off 82. Let's go uh, to Keith and uh, see what Keith is up to. Keith, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tommy. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing great, too. Got a question for you. Um, you know, I'm flat in some accounts, and um, I'm looking for some deep value plays to kind of help ride out some of the stuff and instead of going entirely flat. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking at this uh, QVAL. Um, it kind of caught my eye a little bit, as well as um, RPV and some, some of the other deep value plays. I'm just kind of curious what you thought. So let's take a look at this. It's QVAL, okay? So it says Alpha Arch um, Value ETF, right? Now, the thing that's intriguing about this, you know, so the low for the year in this is uh, trading at uh, 52, uh, is 32, the high is 39. But when you look at this, what you're really buying is the oil market. 
you know, I, I looked at, I mean, these are all energy stocks. So it's like they might be value when they started the fund, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I got it, got it. But all that's right. what they are, you know. Um, you know, so we take a look at this. Anyway. Put this up on a weekly for a second. And, you know, you, you're going to see that, yeah, that the high was 39, you're at 34. You know, this is not a bad setup. I mean, I don't think it's, I don't think this thing wants to trade them to 3250. That's kind of how it's set up. Do you know what I mean? See that high volume yeah. high there? That's how it, yep. and watch, so I'll just put this across this. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of interesting, isn't it? That's a high volume high. We come down, even when we had volume. See this one, it never hit the high volume high. The high volume high is at 3104. That one hit 34.49. You know, so you'll stay in this for a while. I mean, that, that's kind of how this is set up, meaning the consolidation. You know, right, I'm not right. quite sure what, what is confusing on this is more than, well, it's not confusing. I suspect more than likely. Let me see when this issue information. Performance, holding, uh, it doesn't have issue. I'm just thinking that when this started, you know, the, the oil stocks and the service stocks, I mean, they, they'd been a mess for years, right? So when it probably right. started, that was the value, you know what I mean? Right. When you right. take a look at this particular point, you know, well, you know, if we just go, I mean, you go to any of these equities now and you're talking really like a different rotating. ball game. They're really not rotating into value, then, really. Yeah, yeah. They, exactly. Exactly. You know, but it, okay. energy is still a place to stay. Right, that's the other side of this, okay? Energy's not going to go away like overnight. It's not going to happen, folks, okay? This, this oil market, you know, we're trading out here at 120. I think, I think uh, you know, what we're looking at, Keith, I think we're going to go to 147, man. So, yeah. you know, I heard that. It, it's a decent place to be in this market because it's, it's, to me, it's not that you're even hiding in the market. <laughs> They're making money hand over fist. Well, yeah, watch this. This is probably, this is going to, you know, people go out of their minds on this, okay? That how much oil can make, but they forget about the times that they can lose so much money, too. <laughs> That's the reality. It's, it's like anything else, man. So look at these numbers on Exxon. Exxon is almost going to double, not double, no, they're going to go from $285 billion to $398 billion, okay? So that's why you hear all the squawking, you know, that, hey, they're making too much money and all this. Well, you know. Yeah. It's pretty amazing, yeah. huh? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> it is amazing, man. You go back two yeah. years, they did $181 million, and now they're doing three ninety eight. You know? So yeah. I, would, I would basically stay in that sector. You know, I, I don't see that sector because this is what you also have now. The dollar... Oil's still strong, and the dollar is still at highs. If the dollar backs down, man, you know, oil is just going to keep continue higher because oil is priced in dollars. So I think it's a good place to be in an inflationary gold, era. Yeah, yeah. Cook it, brother. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. You know, so oil doesn't go away. Pretty crazy. It never huh? goes away. And yeah. 100 billion, huh? Is it, this and, some, and that was revenue, right? That's revenue. Wow. Yeah, if, we, if we look at this for a second, yeah. <laughs> I know. That, what Beth is saying is 100 billion in 90 days. <laughs> that's, that's what this is. Watch this. This is crazy. Nine, okay, so this quarter is coming up 98 billion in 90 days. Wow. Yeah. You'll see why people get flipped out. Yeah, we should go yeah. into the oil business, huh? Yeah, well, the oils, banks, yeah. That is on a continual basis. Let me ask you a question about silver. How yeah. come silver has stayed flat? Because like what happened? years or whatever. I, no, there's no doubt. And what ends up happening? Why do your friends always say they want silver? No, no, I'm just oh, wondering. Like, okay, it hasn't because no, we're it, talking about gold. No, there's no doubt. Well, today this is an anomaly out here today. Believe me, you know. First off, I'm not quite sure, you know, who came into the gold market big time because they did. Um, you can see silver, you know, really still hasn't done much. I mean, I, I need to see a sign of strength in silver. So a sign of strength means that you have wide price spread, so the bar goes long. You have an expansion of volume. Now, the, what we had out here today is, a, <clears throat> excuse me, a rejection of, li of lower price with lighter volume. So I think silver's gonna go higher. But, you know, silver is not gold. That's the bottom line. It's too much supply? And there's a huge amount of supply. And what folks, 
if you go back, folks, in the history of you know financial dollars, I mean how first we were on the gold standard, and we we're on the gold standard. Silver was actually part of that gold standard because of the fact that so many ounces of silver was worth an ounce of gold. Okay. okay? So what happens, unfortunately, is the silver bulls think that at some particular point that can go back to that. And I believe that aspect was like 42 ounces of silver versus an ounce of gold. But my take is that that'll never happen. You know, it, silver, you know, it's a, it's a good move. I'm not saying silver's not a bad move, but it's not gold, it's not platinum. Yeah. You know, and we are never going back on a gold standard or a silver standard or all of the above. Uh, the, Trust me, you'd, you'd, we'd all be in a depression. <laughs> yeah, we would. Because, because what happens, folks, is that, you know, now debt is not great. There's no doubt about that. But if debt is used in a way that is prudent, you know, my take is that that's how markets grow. Yeah. Because that's how, let's say I'm trying to start a business, right? I come to you. And let, bring this in a very small scale, folks. I'm, I come to you. We're in a little village, right? Because this is how this this is how this works. Okay, you just gotta you, you start thinking bigger and bigger cities. Come to a village. You're the, the head of the village, right? I say, hey man, you know, I got this idea that I can do this and this, and I'm gonna make some money. Like, uh, can you like can I borrow five bucks off you? Now I'm being like, uh, yeah, I'm really going back in time, folks. But this is the same way. Yeah. You give me the five bucks, and you're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna want five and a quarter back or something like that. Well, all of a sudden, you know, I start producing. So if I start producing, then there's three or four other guys that I can put to work. Yeah. Right? I put them to work. You get your five and a quarter back. I never would have had a business. I have a business now. I have four people employed. Yeah. That's how the structure's laid out. Okay? And that's, you know, that's the structure we're in. And the better that you understand how that structure works, you know, the better off it is. Now, the other side of that structure, which should flip people out, is that the banks are the ones that, on a continual basis, is that when they make profits, guess what? It goes in their pocket. When they lose, what do they do? Just write it off. They're socialists, man. Oh. <laughs> They're socialists. The, the banks make everyone else pay. Yeah. Every single time, folks. It never ends, okay? The profits go in their pocket. The losses we pick up. Yeah. It's so pretty, pretty crazy. that's screwed up. And I, that's why people are so flipped about the fiat system, I can see why. Yeah. Stay right there, Best and I come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, best of you, Huey, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow. Dow's off 667. You get the NASDAQ down at 342. S&Ps are off 91. And uh, best just had a pretty cool question. You know, we we're talking off air. Yeah. It was the, the question is, where would gold be if there was no crypto, people investing in crypto? Right. So let, let's look at XBT first, okay? So... My initial answer to that question is, it is a different market. Do yeah. you know what I mean? What you said earlier. Do you know what I mean? It, it has been a different market, okay? Um, you know, the folks that buy gold, I would say, understand value, and I'm being prejudiced here, okay? Because I love gold. But my take is that we understand value a lot more than hedge funds people say value stocks, okay? Well, the bottom line is that it takes 10 tons of, 10 tons of dirt to make one ounce of gold. That's, that's crazy. Okay? Yeah. So picture this. When I first got in the gold market, you want to see something crazy, man? This is crazy, folks, okay? This is when, I swear to God, I wouldn't buy a shirt. I wouldn't buy anything when I first started the gold report because gold, the low of gold, all-time low, is $252. For you folks that were in that market with me, we got in at two eighty two fifty. Now, is that in the last twenty years, or yeah. is that the all time low? The all time low. It's always been. That well, the all time low as the way we were traded. Oh, I see. Okay, um, because you couldn't own gold prior to that, you know. Oh, Remember okay. that? That's that's what ended up happening. Okay, so the bottom line is that <laughs> when I first started the gold report. Um, it was it was an aspect that I would say that okay so here's the all time low right there two fifty two fifty this is where we get in a couple years later it was two fifty eight there's two sixty four and what that was by the way it went topside with volume come back and tested that's when I bought wow okay now you can picture though you can buy this is I'd be shopping for a shirt or something right yeah and I'd I'd look and say hold it man I can get an ounce of gold. Because I had a lot of physical gold then. Yeah. But let's say three hundred dollars, because he has even set a premium then. Or I can buy a shirt that's going to cost me fifty bucks. I says, do I really want to spend one sixth of an ounce? <laughs> so I'd be looking at it, be saying, that's a that's almost a ton and a half of dirt. Yeah. And so the bottom line there was that yeah, I just kept buying gold and buying platinum, and that was it. Then we sold out on this way up. We sold out at seventeen hundred, and I've get uh, got to nineteen twenty. But the bottom line, we sold out. Around here, something it was sixteen fifty, seventeen hundred. Wow. Well, bottom line, at this particular point, you know, to go back to the crypto for a second, is that that is a different market. The that market in particular, you know, you have a whole new younger people coming up, and unfortunately, what happened is that you know, my take on this is that. Um, they just have not been in markets long enough. Yeah. And the people that have been in markets long enough, you know, the twins, the, I'm just talking about people that are running these platforms. Yeah. Know that, okay, man, we get something happening here. Yeah. We're going to grab all this money. And, you know, one of the big players yesterday figured that three quarters of all the funds that are into crypto are going to go out of business. Wow. Yeah. 
That's pretty crazy. That's insane. You know. Crypto, um, huh? Yeah. So look at that. I mean, we we, had, we has a tiger holding gold from three hundred and five dollars. That okay is real wealth. Yeah. So when when you buy gold on the market, right. there's no dividends, though, right? No, there's no dividends. I see. There's no, so now you that, have to sell. That was always the the. No, you don't always have to sell to make money. To make money, you do. Yes, yeah. you do. Okay, but just like that. So Frank, that's Frank from Gloucester. Okay. So picture, because I've, I've done the same thing. You have a coin at three hundred five bucks. Yeah. Well, that coin right now is two thousand bucks. We're at eighteen seventy five. The premiums on these, let's say it's nineteen fifty. Okay. Yeah. He, he's giving it to you know friends, family, getting married, whatever. Y'all getting married. All of a sudden. I'm giving an ounce of gold. He says, wait, man, he's giving me $2,000. Well, for me, it's 300 bucks. Yeah. I've done it. I was giving bonuses out to our employees oh, yeah? and gold. Well, I did. That You know what's so cool, folks? Check this out. When the gold was that, and I bet they still have them. Yeah, that's awesome. That, I was giving them ounces of gold because yeah. I felt that in the future, and the future comes quicker than you think. Yeah. That's, that's the other side of that, which is really wild. It comes much quicker than you think. Time is just flying by. Time is just flying by. Yeah. And as we're talking about time flying by, we're going to have to go look at this market again because, let's see, we're at 347. And what this market did is that it got up to a 0 0.382 retracement and gave it up. So this is going to be a little problem in paradise. Let's see. We are seven minutes into this bar. You can see what happened here. There's your high volume bar. That was the 39.30. We got the 39.20. This bar here has volume in it on the way down. That's saying you're gonna go after the lows. And you know, you go after these lows, folks. What you're gonna have then, <clears throat> excuse me, is that you're gonna basically go over the weekend um, the market can get some strength. The market will go after this B point over the weekend. The real question is going to be, does it have enough volume to break the B point? And if it does, then guess what? You better get out of the way because this is one monster ABC structure down. You know, yeah, I might as well do the numbers right now so you can see it. Now, see the cool. Th so, so picture. Best for die every single day. I mean, there's no doubt between <clears throat> looking at listings, right? Looking at the aspect that we've seen, this is out. This is so. Check this out. This is a game, folks. Now, wherever you are in the country, I want you to check out this game because this game is um, kind of nasty, uh, but it's out here. Yeah. Price increases. Yeah. Okay. So check this out, folks. There's a few brokers right now, even in St. Pete. Well, I, the, this is we know they're in St. Pete, and I know what they're doing. And so what they're doing is this. They're increasing their prices, thinking that you and me and everyone else are going to look at that price and say, oh, my God, okay, let me see if I can get a deal. Yeah. Right? I mean, there's a, there's, a, there's a piece of property. This is anecdotal. There's a piece of property offered at $5 million, right? What ended up happening, this is a friend of mine, okay? Bottom line, he wasn't going to buy it. It's, it, was just, it, was, it was just wasn't worth it because it was a piece of dirt. So it's like, you know, you can buy dirt for less money than that and hold it as long as you have the other rentals to pay for it. But a five million piece of dirt, he wasn't capable of holding it. I wouldn't be capable of holding it. It's just way too much money, you yeah, know, as, as a carry, as, yeah. a, as a, it just is. So what ends up happening, he calls a friend of his, that, that helps him out. The bottom line is it goes on the market. They put it on the market for seven million. Yeah. The guy, you know, he, he's, we were talking yesterday, just the day, the day before. He said, I can't believe this. I said, no, 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 it's the game. <laughs> it, it, what happens, that's the game because the, the place is not even worth five million. Because yeah. what, what, what has happened, folks, in between the, uh, like the two million, three million, right? Yeah. You know, you see this a lot on the houses on the beach, right? Yeah. That some people have made a million dollars. Oh, yeah. Like, quick. just like that. Yeah. Okay. And so people don't want to price them. And it's like, oh, I, I need that house right yeah. now. I need yeah. it right now. Okay? Stay right there. Best and I come right back. 
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 779. You get the NASDAQ off 387. S&Ps are off 105. And that's some cool feedback in the uh, Tiger's Den here, okay? Uh, you know, there's, there's, there's folks. I mean, that's, isn't that crazy? That's amazing. There's folks actually listening in the Tiger's Den, folks, that were listening the day of the, when I was on the radio buying it in 2002. Um, and there's folks that came to that gold show, and I want to appreciate, uh, thank you so much for growling and prowling with me all these years, man, because we had gold shows. I So picture this, you know what I used to do? I used to sell gold all the time. It, well, we've done it twice. Yeah. But there's not, for, for two different things that end up happening. I remember out in my desk, right? I'd have, you know, all these ounces of gold stacked up. I'm saying, this is pretty wild. I got 100 grand stacked up. and But if you sold even 10 ounces of gold, like, do you know what I mean? For the risk that you're taking, it was a bad business. Yeah. It didn't make, you know, you, you, we could, you, gross wise, yeah, you're pulling in millions, but the difference was that you're literally making $20. Well, like right now, if I've sold gold right now, you're making like $20, $25 on a, you know, $1,850 purchase. Not worth it, huh? Well, you screw up one time and then see you later, man, yeah, right? Just I mean, every, you know, profits. That, that's exactly. And, and a lot of it had to do with, you have to trust the post office. We never had a problem. I never oh, lost yeah. anything. But the bottom line is that that's how you send it. You know, you send it insured to the post office. But you can get the gist of it. Anyway, yeah. um, pretty wild. So, markets down here, Bestford. All your friends are going to be calling you. All red. <laughs> All red. They're going to say, what the heck's been going on? And if you get back to the real estate a second, this is 
every time that we have a market go down like this, right, what does it do? Well, I think there's, there's going to be less cash, right? Exactly. So uh, exactly. I made an offer you know, not too long ago. Yeah. And uh, usually there's always some cash offers. Oh, yeah. This is big, folks. Listen and to this. And then uh, this one was, uh, there was 11 offers. Yeah. But they're all financed. No oh, you hear that? And what was the price? The price wasn't a lot. No, it was like 240 Yeah. Yeah. Folks, so that's a problem. Before, it was like half and half. Yep. So. Big time. Unreal. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off, 9 o'clock in the morning. Look at him, folks. Thanks, pal. Building wealth trade.